My name is Jamie Mogul. It was really just the alphabet. Uh, um, and I grew up in Lower Marion, uh, where I live also, and I have spent really my whole career um, as an attorney working to amplify the voices of everyday people, first as a consumer protection attorney, and now as an election fairness expert. And I'm really running because we deserve a voice, a voice that has been lost. We need to continue that progressive torch, um, and I will grab it and run with it. Um, and I really have that track record to be the voice for us in the Senate District 17. And my experience really shows that I have both grassroots um, and the coalition of good government groups. I was vice president for the State League of Women Voters, working to review and analyze legislation to help us, everyday people, improve our lives. I was also state coordinator for resolutions for Fair Districts PA, working even in this room right here to pass resolutions to end partisan gerrymandering. And we're gonna do just that uh, when I'm in the state Senate. So thanks so much. Uh, so as I mentioned in the opening, my experience, but I think everybody here is talking about their qualifications, but I do believe that I have the best qualifications to be ready day one, particularly around the fact that I've worked both grassroots and policy and election protection and across the state because because whomever is in this seat not only needs to keep this seat blue, but needs to do the work outside of this district to make sure that we flip seats so that we can actually get things done in Harrisburg. And that is my experience working across Pennsylvania. I was 2018 election protection director for the state with Common Cause PA. As I mentioned, I was vice president for the state board, already working with the League of Women Voters to work on legislation like the excuse me, like the election reform package, um, and then also with Fair Districts PA, which really we had over 350 municipal resolutions calling for an end to partisan gerrymandering, many of them in majority Republican uh, districts. So I already have worked across the aisle to know that we can get things done for common good. Uh, so as I mentioned, I have been working in Pennsylvania particularly to end gerrymandering um, as it's just inherently undemocratic that a politician is drawing maps to keep themselves entrenched. It is what I've been fighting to work against. If I was state senator, I would continue that fight. I worked on that legislation. It's ready to go. Um, and we can pass a congressional redistricting bill without a amendment to our state constitution. I would put that in place, make it a template, and make sure that when we get to a legislative maps, that that fair, impartial redistricting commission made of us, everyday citizens, and not politicians, not even anybody related to a lobbyist as well, can be part of that commission, not using data uh, to really draw the maps in their favor and rig the rules to really have an agenda that does not reflect the will of the people because we know when we have fair maps, like the challenge that I was involved in with the congressional districts, we as Democrats, we succeed, like the four fabulous women that were added to our congressional delegation, and I plan to do that when I'm in Harrisburg. So I am one of the 350,000 Pennsylvanians that is, that is part of the exchange. I know how difficult it is to navigate. It is not clear. Um, so we need to do better about the information that is actually on the exchange, and we need to expand that. And we can do it at a state level. We can take a cue from other states. We definitely need to make sure that um, as well as I have a pre-existing condition, making sure we protect that. Legislation has already come forward by the state Senate, by our Democratic caucus. We need to push that through. That includes, even if you're a child uh, up to the age of 26, you can remain on your parents' insurance. And we need to lower prescription drug costs. And we should make uh, these drug companies put online what the cost of those drugs are so that we do have an actual exchange and we have that information. And we can fight back against the Trump administration's attack on what is a human right to have accessible, affordable health care. And I know that personally, as somebody who's on the exchange, again, it's very hard to navigate. And we can do better at a state level to fight back about what's happening at a national level. Well, I think this is another example where the will of the people is not reflected in Harrisburg. Um, so again, we need to elect the right people. We need to have somebody who's going to do the work outside of the district to make sure that we can stack. Uh, we're very close in the state Senate, three or four seats. Um, but common sense uh, gun safety legislation comes down to making sure we have background checks, making sure we put a ban on assault weapons, and also making sure that if there is an instance of domestic violence, that that perpetrator, that assaulter, does not have a weapon. That should be automatic, no questions asked. 
Uh, and I will say, you know, this, this is disturbing. You know, uh, some of us have children. Um, I know with my nieces and nephews, if you can make a child, uh, a young child, hide in a closet and do drills, you absolutely can pass gun safety legislation. I would say we're already too late when it comes to what we need to do. Climate change is an existential threat and must be addressed. And this is another instance where we need to fight back against uh, the scaled back regulations of the Trump administration. We can absolutely do it here in Pennsylvania to pass measures to protect our wildlife, to protect our air, to protect our lands. We are at a point in Pennsylvania where we are actually being sued by other states because we are not protecting our lands and our waterways and the pollution that we are causing. We must do better to put in place regulations. And then again, it goes to money. We must address the fact, particularly the energy, um, uh, the lobbying in Harrisburg. There is one, for every single legislator, there is somebody from the natural gas industry. We are the only state that is not taxing natural gas. Only 1% of that could fund our entire public school system. So we have to do that. And again, this is about putting the right people in office who are going to be able to do this day one. I think it does come down to um, protecting women's rights to make their own decision about my body, our bodies as women. Um, I think we all agree with that here. Uh, but that also goes further to making sure that we protect women's economic security. So we need to pass measures that go further, um, that have paid family leave, that have uh, child care, that have, uh, have measures that go further, uh, like paid sick days. That all goes into those decisions uh, to make sure that you have adequate care and that you can take care of your body and make those decisions over yourself. And that does come down to, again, that Harrisburg is not reflecting the will of the people. We had a heartbeat bill come to this legislature. So again, we need to do better, flip seats, but again, make sure that person who's in this seat is going to do the work to flip those seats and then more, um, and I certainly will do that as your state senator. So we hear a lot about this great economy and that unemployment rates are down, but it's a gig economy, because we know uh, people are holding multiple jobs and they're holding jobs that don't give them benefits. There's no way to save. I'm part of a big family. I have many siblings, even though they went to college and had opportunities. They're holding several jobs with absolutely no future and considerable debt. Uh, many of them had to move home. So what are we doing? We need to do better to put many of the things I've already discussed. Um, protections like paid family leave. We need to, as Linda has been working on, strengthen our unions because we know when unions are strong, our communities succeed and our economy does better. We need to build out our middle class that is failing. We have so much that we can do, including putting into place funding for vocational programs, <coughs> making sure young people have this career uh, and path and a profession to succeed, even if it's not the standard um, academic future, right? So there's a lot that we can do. Again, this is something that we need to fight back against the Trump administration for our future. We deserve to have a progressive voice, voice back for this district. Um, I will say I'm a progressive. At one time I was a Dale and Leach fan. He was a lone progressive for a very long time. Um, that is clearly not the case as I'm running, because um, I do think, you know, it is time to move on. It's time to have somebody better who can carry that torch, continue to pass legislation, and more importantly, bring to the table from day one all of the coalitions and the grassroots network that I have to get things done in Harrisburg. But more importantly, it's also about building a campaign that is strong enough to beat an incumbent, because good or bad, he's still an incumbent. And we need to communicate with voters in a presidential primary election year just how significant these down ballot races are. As I mentioned, the next state senator will be drawing the map, so we have national implications here, congressional seats, and also legislative seats. I do not need on-the-job training. I am ready to draw those fair maps. I don't think it should be, and we need to eliminate politicians from doing so. Thank you. We deserve to have a progressive voice, voice back for this district. Um, I will say I'm a progressive. At one time, I was a Dale and Leach fan. He was a lone progressive for a very long time. Um, that is clearly not the case as I'm running, because um, I do think, you know, it is time to move on. It's time to have somebody better 
who can carry that torch, continue to pass legislation, and more importantly, bring to the table from day one all of the coalitions and the grassroots network that I have to get things done in Harrisburg. But more importantly, it's also about building a campaign that is strong enough to beat an incumbent, because good or bad, he's still an incumbent. And we need to communicate with voters in a presidential primary election year just how significant these down ballot races are. As I mentioned, the next state senator will be drawing the map, so we have national implications here, congressional seats, and also legislative seats. I do not need on-the-job training. I am ready to draw those fair maps. I don't think it should be, and we need to eliminate politicians from doing so. Thank you.